Good morning, so friends, it's your girl K Stew. Today is December 26th. It is the day after Christmas. If you are someone who celebrates the holidays, say Merry Christmas. <coughs> Happy holidays. I hope yesterday was good for you. <clears throat> it was a bad day for me um, for a lot of different reasons. And I'm not sure if I'm going to talk about that yet. But if I do, I'll talk about it later on in the video, but probably not right now. So I'm in my laundry room right now because I need to wash some clothes. Your girl has been on the road and all those good things. And basically I haven't unpacked or I haven't washed anything. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm unpacking and I'm, wa I'm washing clothes. And I'm going to get these clothes hung up and put away. And I also, um, I just went to go get me a screwdriver because... One of the drawers in my dresser is broke, and so I'm going to have to take it off because it won't just slide out like normal doors do. So I'm going to have to take it off and figure out how I'm going to maneuver that until my new furniture shows up. So that's what I'm doing today. Y'all see this shirt? Cute little express shirt, right? I got this shirt from the thrift store. I think it was like 3 or $4, but again... Cute little express shirt, small express, like, and it's real cute. I can't wait to put this on. It's cute. So, this is my little hook I use, y'all. I'm gonna put a little thing in here eventually where it'll, like, I can pull it out and then hang my wet stuff up more. But I haven't done it yet. So, right now, so this is what I have to work with. But yeah, this is just stuff I am on. Uh, Putting it in the dryer, I mean, putting it in the washing machine. So I'm just closing the door so y'all can hear me a little better. I know it might be like a little echo or something. But anyway, so what are y'all up to today? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing much sewing today. Y'all remember my slut suit that I made? Yeah, I love this suit. <coughs> and it is washing friendly. But you see, I'm throwing it right in the, um, putting it right in the dryer. But anyway, so I gotta do that. And another project I'm working on. This is another shirt, y'all. Cause y'all know I really had no. I had been looking for button ups to shave. That I even made full button ups myself because I couldn't find them. I should have been a bag on thrift store. Cause look, look this one out. Another cute line. Look, H and M. I think I paid like four bucks for it. So y'all better stop sleeping. On the thrift store. Because the thrift store be having some good stuff. Here's another one. I told you I need a button up. Like, I always do pants and skirts and stuff. But I realized I never really did any shirts. So, here's the gold one. But you know the crazy part about this? I did this shirt in green and burgundy. So, the fact that I found a gold one at the thrift store. It's crazy. Why is this sticking to the floor? Hold on, y'all. Sorry. I'm trying to see why oh, my shelf looked like it was sticking to the floor. Get you some dry balls. If y'all don't have dry balls, get you some dry balls. I'm telling you, dry balls help with lint on your clothes, especially if you're doing like, um, like y'all know I do sweaters and sweater knits and stuff. So you don't want your stuff to come out the dryer and they got all that lint on it. Like, I hate that. Here's another um jumpsuit I made and I made this jumpsuit this is like Mimi G's first one of her first jumpsuit patterns so that's how old this one is but guess what it's going in the dryer too so let me see do I have a message for today <coughs> I do have a message for today <coughs> message for today is called trying to move on how do you move on from a routine that you've been so used to? How do you move on from a relationship? Like if you're going through a breakup, how do you get past it? What do you do? How do you stop doing the things that you normally would do when you were in that relationship? Like, you know, I'm in a relationship. I get up. I'm going to call my boo in the morning. Good morning, baby. What do you do in the meantime when you don't have anybody to call? Like, who are you calling? You call your girlfriends now? 
you know, like, I don't know. Somebody tell me what y'all do. Because I think that's my, I think that'd be one of my hardest issues is finding a new routine. So, let me tell y'all what my new routine is about to be. My new routine is about to be my workouts. So, I feel like any time that I get up and I feel like, damn, I want to call him on the phone. Or I'm thinking about him. I'm going to get my workout band on my legs and get the bump in. Get the bump in them legs. Get the bump there. Get the bump in them legs, y'all. So that's why, y'all, I am off today. I'm actually off until January 3rd. So do y'all know, not only am I going to be a full-time K Charles Couture business owner, my business is K Charles Couture don't open until 9 o'clock. Like, we got to keep it on the real because... If I, or when I get my um, fabric store, fabric store can maybe open up at 7 or 6 o'clock in the morning. This is going to be the time that I need to prep for what I need to do for the day. So this is what I'm doing today. I'm prepping right now for what I need to do for later on. And part of my prep comes from um, getting these clothes out the way so I can make some more clothes and have them in my way as well. Um, Another thing I need to prep is because I need to work out. Like, so I'm going to work out this morning. I'm going to work out, and I'm going to make me a, um, a little shake. Put my little thick, quick shake in there. Put my shake in there, and then I'm going to have me some breakfast. And then I'm going to just probably kind of relax. Like, I don't think I'm doing too much song today. I don't think so. But y'all know I'll be changing my mind up. And then here's another thing. Like, I have... So, in the midst of me getting out my room cleaned, and I also need to prep my office and get that ready. So... I've already got a few things that I want to have for my office so I can make it look like exactly how I want it to do. So, one thing is I have a sewing machine that I bought from the Fit um, Thrift Store. And it's, in, it's an old one. It's inside the case. But what I want to do is I'm going to sand out the um, case that it's in. And then I'm going to spray paint it black. The, out, the, um, the case, I mean, not the case, the table and the stand is going to actually be black. Because all my furniture in my office, I want to be black. So it has to match. That way, I don't always have to go downstairs. Like, if I just need to really quick, quickly run and sew something together, I can do it. I don't have to go downstairs into the studio. So that's going to be a cross hall. So I'm going to do that. So y'all see, I got a lot of things on my plate for today. I'm also trying to get in touch with my girlfriend. Because she moved to South Carolina some years ago. Many years ago. And I haven't really been able to, like, get in touch with her or talk to her or, or you know. You know, life be life, and then we just kind of distance ourselves from each other. But, like, outside of Facebook and stuff like that. So, I'm going to try to get in touch with her because I think she's, like, maybe an hour, two hours at max away from me. And if that's the case, I'm trying to see what she's doing for New Year's Eve, and I'm trying to go hang out with my girl. So, I don't know if y'all watch Basketball Wives, but on Basketball Wives, there's Evelyn, and then there's Jen. I'm Jen, she's Evelyn. So, that's how we've always been, like, for... I think, what, since 2011 or 2009, something like that. So, um, I did hear her message up this morning. Her, the last number I had for her text her, I was like, hey, is this, you know, is this her name? I'm going to tell you her name. I was like, is this her name? I was like, if it's not, I apologize. If it is her, if, like, what's up? It's Jen. I'm trying to do something for New Year's Eve. Like, where we at? So, y'all just, you know, I'm going to keep y'all updated and let y'all know um, how that happens and if I talk to her today. But this is what I'm doing to get my day started. Um, I'll probably put a little video footage in there of me getting the clothes and stuff. Because, like, when I tell y'all, I'm one of those people that unpack. I don't unpack. I, I have multiple luggage. And then now, because I can make my own carry-on bags, I have a couple of those. So, I don't really unpack when I come home. Unless it's time to do some laundry. So, that's what I'm doing. Doing laundry, I'm unpacking. But it's a lot that I gotta unpack. And it's a lot I need to put away. So... I'm going to let y'all go through the journey with doing that with me because, like I said, yesterday was a bad day. And um, today is feeling like a better day. Like, I feel I feel energized, a little more energized than I did yesterday. I feel like I can get up and do some things, you know. Sometimes um, 
I just have those days and I just don't feel like, I feel like I can't get up, I can't do anything. And yesterday was one of those days. Um, but anyhow, today's not one of those days, so let's get busy. Talk to you soon. All right, so I have no idea how to get this drawer out. And it's making me mad because I want to get the drawer out so I can leave the top part open. Like, I don't care if the top of my drawer is open. I'll stick some of the stuff I got under the TV underneath of there. But I need that drawer out. So I got to figure out how to get it out. And I have no idea. I didn't put the dresser together. So when they delivered my furniture a couple of years ago, they put the furniture together. And... Now it's getting old. I'm getting a new set of furniture in here, but there's really nothing wrong with this dresser except for that that one drawer is not the one drawer is broke. Now if I can get the drawer out, I probably could fix the drawer and then still move it to another area. But I want to get rid of that dresser yet because again, there's really nothing wrong with it. I could actually put that dresser in my guest room and just you know put some towels and put like um like in the drawers you know what i'm saying leave the bottom drawers open and leave, that's what i'm saying leave that top drawer open and then have in like you know old i mean not old toothbrushes but new toothbrushes toothpaste stuff like that so when people come to visit the stuff is right there in the room with them so i don't want to get rid of this dresser so but i'm a little pissed because i'm trying to figure out how to get the dang going dresser fixed and it's getting my necks but i'm gonna keep fighting because i gotta do it like Again, I got all my clothes on hangers. The stuff, this stuff right here, this is dirty. This gotta get washed. So that's the wash pile. I'm laying on. These are clean clothes that came out of that drawer. <coughs> <coughs> and I got another pile over there that needs to be washed. <coughs> so I'm gonna keep trying to fight this drawer, and I'll be back.
Okay, y'all, it's your girl. Like, listen, don't look at this because, like, I'm I went to sleep and I had that bonnet on my head and it's like kind of matted all down. So I got, I'm gonna have to detangle this stuff, y'all. It is what it is. I ain't tripping. But guess what? I did get finished today. But stop. Look at that. Okay, that one's still a little wiggly wide. But look at that. It only took me, I think, two hours to get that thing together. But I did get it together. Y'all, my room is pretty clean, too. Let me show y'all my room. Let me show y'all the room. Because I did get it. Um, Like, y'all know I was getting all that laundry and stuff together. <laughs> y'all know. Okay, listen. Don't be judging nothing. That is my little exercise ball over there. And I need to put that in the garage. And that need to go in my sewing room because that's some um some zippers and stuff. But that's my exercise stuff right there. And that's some more tools and stuff that I had. But, like, listen, y'all. And that's some other bags I need to unpack. But guess what? Ain't no more laundry. My laundry is gone. Y'all see that? My laundry is gone. And don't look at I need to get. I'm getting a whole nother bedroom set, y'all. So don't even look that. I ain't got no dust ruffle. But it don't matter because guess what? My things is clean. It's how you go up in some people's house and they um, mattress or they box spring be looking all dirty and stuff. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all, since I was little, I always had like a, um, I used to feel bad about that. Like when you see mattresses and stuff outside, and I'm sure they got rained on and all that, but some of them stains wasn't just because it was outside on the ground. Some of them stains was in it because the kids pissing in the bed and all that. Listen, I got three sons and my oldest one, oh God, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I'm not. I didn't, oops, I'm going to probably edit that out. I probably will. But anyway, so I'm just saying, I got three boys. So just know, I know what um, crazy looking mattresses look like. But I ain't got no crazy looking mattress. Um, Thank God, because in 2016, I left them periods and stuff alone. I left them at um, Holy Cross Hospital. So yeah, my mattress is pretty clean right now. I can give it away and all that good stuff. And yeah, so, but anywho. I, I went off in a tangent for that one. But I just wanted to come and like do a close for tonight. Today is Tuesday. December 26th. Oh my gosh, I was about sitting there thinking like, is tomorrow the 27th? It is the 27th. Well, I got a lot done today, y'all. I mean, y'all know I've been going over my list of things, the things that I want to do and I need to accomplish. So... I feel like today I accomplished some good things because the first thing I wanted to accomplish was getting them clothes and stuff together. I did put them in a the closet. I also called my um, cable company, had them cancel my cable at the end of this billing cycle because I'm getting the new cable with the fiber optics and all that. And um, I feel good because I actually got that drawer fixed. And I really, it was giving me some problems, y'all. I had to go get some more nails and screws. I feel like, I mean, I really put that dresser together, but I still love it. Again, like I said, I'm going to put that dresser in my um my guest room. And I'm going to just have like the top drawers, just put like toothpaste and stuff like that. And then the other drawers, I put like towels and, you know, and then I'll leave the bottom drawers open. So if, you know, if they, I doubt that I have company that's staying longer than two or three days or something like that. But if they feel like they need to, like, kind of unpack and put some of their stuff in there, they can do that. So, that is what my day has looked like. I did not log into my computer at all at work. I did have one guest on um, my travel Zoom call tonight. I'm going to tell y'all something. Oh, my gosh. Listen. So, everybody know I do travel, right? So when I started the travel business, I'm gonna set the phone like this so I could just count it like rap to you. So when I started my travel business, I was sending out like messages to my family, everybody, like, I'm so excited about this new business I'm in. You gotta take a look at it. If you wanna go somewhere, book with me. And I sent one to one of my cousins, right? He's a male. And Y'all know how sometimes your cousins be calling you and shit and they don't be want to talk about... Well, I shouldn't have said that word because I don't want YouTube to flag me or nothing. But anyway, y'all know how you got them cousins that call you and they don't be want to talk about nothing. They don't be wanting nothing for real. 
And like, it seemed like every time I get in town, they never is around. They never free. They always be talking about some, yeah, we're going to hook up, girl. We're going to. And nah. So, you know, you got them cousins that sometimes you just be like, you know what? I'm just not about to do all that talking because he ain't talking about nothing. He don't want nothing. Well, I'm on the Zoom call tonight with uh, a potential travel partner. And I'm looking at the names. Because, you know, you got, there's like sometimes in the chat, they be like, oh, you know, let us know what you're thinking. So I see this name and I say, that can't be my cousin. Can't be him. Because what is he doing on this call? It can't be him. Can't be. So I sent him a message. I'm like, hey, are you on Zoom right now? So he didn't see, because I sent the message through Facebook. I didn't send it on his phone. Because if he was on a Zoom call, I didn't want to interrupt it by texting him. So probably a little later after that, I get a call. I mean, I get a text on my phone that says, I see you on Zoom. I'm like, yeah, I see you too. What you doing on the Zoom with somebody else when I presented this opportunity to you a while ago? Not only did I present the opportunity to him. But we were supposed, we were planning a trip and to use my site. And all I do on Facebook is post about travel or so on. So you got on there with another person. So this is my message for tonight. My message for tonight is follow up. If you think your follow up game is tight, Make it tighter. Follow up some more. If you think you made enough phone calls for today, say you decide I'm going to make 10 phone calls today. That involves my business, your personal life, whatever. You're going to make 10 calls. Make 20. If you make 10 calls in three days or in two days, go back and make those 10 calls again and follow up with your people. Find out what's going on. Because I feel like, I think I thought I did. I thought I was doing a good follow up job, but obviously I wasn't because my cousin is on Zoom. He's joined the business that I'm in with somebody else. So you know me. You know black people. First thing we start doing is rationalizing why he ain't getting the business with me and all this other stuff. So, and the first thing I thought was, okay, he ain't getting the business with me because. This is probably a woman that he trying to get with or he trying to hit. So he went ahead and signed up with her. Or I was thinking, you know what? Maybe he on this call with her because, you know, what else did I think? I was thinking something else. Hold on. I think I don't remember what I was thinking. Uh, the first thing I thought was he's probably trying to get with her. Second thing I was thinking was, oh, because she's been in the business longer than I've been in the business, so she has a little more status in the business than I have in the business right now. Could be the reason why he joined her. And then I had to sit back and I had to take accountability for myself. I had to say to myself, your follow-up game is not as tight as you think it is. Yes, you did present this opportunity to him. Yes, you did talk to him about booking a trip with you. Yes, you did talk to him about um, this opportunity. Yes, you did send him a text about this opportunity. But yet, he ended up on a call, a Zoom call, and joined the business. Got in the business. Has a new travel partner business with someone else. So my follow-up game is not as tight as I think it is. I can't blame him. I can't blame the person who got him in the business. I can only put the blame on myself. I got to be accountable for what I've done. And even though I feel like I did, I did enough, I do believe that. Like, I really believe that um, I did enough in that situation as far as the opportunity is concerned. Um, and if... The other two reasons are the reasons why he got in the business with her. That's his That's his business. That's not mine. I'm like Tabitha. How Tabitha say, that's your business, baby. That's Oh, no, she be saying, that's my business. Not true. Or whatever she be saying. But it be sounding cute when she say it. But she be like, that's, and I'm going to try to find a clip and put it in this thing. But whatever, when Tabitha be saying, 
But that's your business. Now, what I got going on ain't even your business. You've made it your business, and I that, that is on you and not on me. Oh, you mean? That's your business. <laughs> and that's their business. Some that's your business. Time. And somebody business or somebody in yours, hear this, okay? You do you, and I'ma do me. Because it's my business. I'm going about y'all business. And that's my business. But that is your business. It ain't mine. I just know I got to follow up better than I've done. So that's my, um, that's my close out for tonight. Following up. And I don't know. What you need to follow up on. I don't know how you need to do your follow-ups. But I'm going to tell you how I need to do mine. When it comes to my sewing business. I need I need to follow up using my planner and my calendar. I've been, I'd be telling y'all I'm visual. So I got to write it down so I can see it. Even if I write it on a big piece of paper. Um, my writing paper I have in there that I use to make patterns. If I put it on there and write it down, I just need to see it. So that's what I need to do for my sewing business. I need to put it down, do some checks so I know, okay, this is how far I've gone with this. This is what I need to do. Because once I'm seeing it, I can say, okay, you didn't finish this. So you need to do this or you need to add this. So now it's time for buttons. It's time for this or whatever. As far as my travel business is concerned, I don't want to flood people. You know what I'm saying? like Because I feel like I have an opportunity that could save someone's life. Point blank period. Including my own. If I took this, and I told someone this earlier today. I just need to cut the bullshit. And get busy. Keep moving. Keep being active in my business. And my business is going to give me what I'm giving it. You're going to get out of your business what you put into it. If you treat it like a hobby, you're going to get a hobby paycheck. If you treat it like a job, you're going to get just over broke. Just like your job. If you treat it like a business, you are going to get a ROI, return on your investment. So I need to get better with my follow-up for my travel business. And I feel like the way I need to do that is I need to utilize the things I have in my phone. Now, I'm going to go upgrade my phone tomorrow, but I need to utilize the things that are available in your phone. A lot of people don't use the things that are available in their phone. For instance, let me tell you what I do not use in my phone. I really don't use my calendar in my phone. And the reason I don't use my calendar in my phone is just say tomorrow I have an appointment at 12 o'clock. So you go into your calendar on your phone and you set this appointment for 12 o'clock. And then I set a reminder to remind me 30 minutes before 12 o'clock that there's an appointment at 12 o'clock. So, in 30 minutes before the clock, I mean, 30 minutes when the clock goes off before the appointment, I have hit the button, and I'm not really thinking about it again until the 12 o'clock thing goes off and say, hey, you got an appointment at 12 o'clock. For me, it's not effective. And I say that because why would I say that? I'm saying that because even with the things I have in my phone now, I don't want to use the calendar in my phone. I did not want to use the calendar in my phone. Here's one of the reasons why I didn't want to use the calendar phone. One, it's too small. I can't see it. I got to stretch the screen out and all that. Or, you know, or if the appointment changes or if I need to, like, reschedule something. Like, I'm going in there and flipping stuff around and my phone is just not effective for me. So I'm going to get me a little pocket planner and it's only going to be for my travel business. That's it. I'm not going to use that planner for anything else. That pocket planner is going and I'm going to put everything in there for the whole year. All the conferences I know that are happening, all the big events that I need to go to, all the trainings that I want to attend, my goals that I want to reach in the business for those certain days. But I'm going to get me a little pocket planner. I think I'm going to just run to like Dollar Tree tomorrow and get me a cute little planner. And that way I can open it up just like I do with my sewing and I can see it. Because guess what? 
I ain't missing nothing in my sewing business. I ain't missing no clients in my sewing business. I'm not missing any TikTok lives that I'm doing tutorials. I'm not missing those. I'm not, I know that I need to be prepared on Sunday for a so long. So I know that I need to go to Joanne's this week. I'm not missing those. But again, I'm not missing it because I put it on the calendar, which is in the sewing room in front of my face. So I can see it. My phone. I don't always. I don't want. I don't like being that girl that always have her phone in her hand. That's always looking at her phone. You know what I'm saying? Like you go to a restaurant and you're looking at your phone. You go to work and you're looking at your phone. You go to a concert. You go to a movie and people are looking at their phone. I don't want to be that person. So I know that using the calendar on my phone is not going to be effective for me. What will be effective for me on my phone is using my phone to call people. You know, I don't even know if they can do that on your phone, but I'm going to check and see if you can do like a follow-up on your phone. So say like if I call, um, let's say I call Jane on Monday. I wonder, can I put in my phone to call Jane back on Wednesday. I'm going to test it out. That's going to be the only thing that I think would be effective for me as far as my travel business and my cell phone. Because again, I don't want to be that girl that always has her phone in her hand. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that girl. So I got to figure it out. I don't know. What tips and tricks do y'all have to do follow up? Or do you need to step your follow up game up? You know what I'm saying? Let me know what follow up tips y'all have because I need them. Because tonight kind of blew me out the water when I saw my cousin. Listen, this is family. We got the same last name. How you want to call with somebody else? We got the same last name. But you are doing business with somebody else. It's crazy, right? I know. So that's my message for today. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. And I know I got on here early and I said I was wanted to talk about something that I may not talk about because it was kind of sensitive. And I was watching YouTube today and I don't even know what the video was for today, but it was during this week because everybody think pretty much right now are doing like kind of vlogmas stuff for YouTube. So I was looking at Tierra's page. I follow, I've been following Tierra for a minute. I think his name is Tierra Janae or Renee. I'm about to look it up. But Tierra got on there and she talked about battling depression. And during her battle of depression, she started cleaning up her room. And, you know, how she just talked about she had to get up and just move. Get, get moving. Like, and Christmas for me was that day. I had a bout with depression. Um, I miss my cheerleaders, as I would like to call. It. I miss my biggest supporters. And it was like everybody that I feel like love me unconditionally, no questions asked, aren't here. And I know that sounds kind of strange because I have three sons, right? And of course, my sons love me unconditionally. I think my sons would stop traffic if they thought it would help me. I think my sons would um, fight somebody. I think they would... Listen, I think my sons would do any and everything. But let's be honest. I don't know if you can be honest. I'm going to be honest with myself. Who wants to have that conversation with their children? And I have three grown children. Like, I don't have no little kids. They're 26, 28, and 29. But who wants to have a conversation with your children about being depressed? You're supposed to be the hero and the superhero and the um, super mom and Wonder Woman. I'm supposed to be all those things. And I have to tell my children that I'm having a weak moment. That I'm sad. That I'm feeling down. It's hard. I had to have that conversation with my son. 
my 26 year old. And I was afraid because I was like, God, he's going to judge me. and He's going to think so bad of me. Like he's going to think bad of his mother. Like, and you always want your kids to think the best of you. So now I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, my son is probably thinking like, what's wrong with her? Like what's going on? But he didn't do any of that. You know what he did? He hugged me. He gave me the biggest hug I could ever have that day. And I was bawling. Like, I'm, tears is all down my face. But he grabbed me, like, it's all right, Ma. It's okay. And I was like, you know, I'm sorry. He was like, for what? Ma, for what? It's okay to have these days if you need them. Just don't keep, just don't stay on them days too long. That's what my 26-year-old told me. Hug me. Say, it's going to be okay. It's okay to feel like this. It's okay. That was hard for me, y'all. And it was hard for me because for years, I always felt like my mother would still treat me like a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 48 years old. And to this day, I don't believe that my mother treats me like a 48-year-old adult. adult. I think she still treats me like a teenager. Um, And I said for life that I would never treat my children that way. And yesterday, I had to think to myself, you're doing the same thing that you didn't like being done to you. You're not treating your children like adults. You're not having adult conversations with them. So that they understand that sometimes this is a part of life. And I kept thinking to myself when I, after I had this conversation with him, what if I didn't have that conversation with him? What if he was having the same emotions or uh, what if he was having bouts of depression and felt as though he couldn't say anything to me? And I'm just talking about me in general because he does have his father, his father's in his life. But what if he felt like he couldn't have that conversation with me because I may judge him or I may think he's not a strong man because I'm hiding real adult things from my adult children. So when I talk about follow up, that's a part of my follow-up. I had to follow up with my son yesterday and let him know that his mother is human. I am Wonder Woman. I can do it all. I can remember everybody's social security number. I can remember everybody's blood type. I can remember when everybody who's allergic to what. I do remember all of those things. But in the midst of all of those things, I am human. And sometimes I have a bad day. And I've been hiding that from my kids. Because I've been going through this since 2011. When my ex-husband and I broke up. And I realized that I was actually going to be a single mother. But I would try to have my bouts or bad days when the boys were gone. So they never saw it. They always saw the funny mom. Unless I was whooping a butt for doing something bad. Because I spanks but I do spanks to booty butts. I don't got... Listen, I, I was popping... I was popping them with a the belt. But anywho, uh, please, listen. Don't nobody come for me because my kids are grown. They are happy. They are wonderful. They good. So, listen, that little belt, couple of belt poppings they got did not hurt them. I didn't abuse nobody. It was just discipline. But I've been hiding from my children. And now that they're an adult, I need to have adult conversations with them. 
That's all I got for tonight, y'all. See you tomorrow.